Sitefinity lets you repurpose the content created in a traditional CMS context for various multi-platform and multi-channel use cases. Developers can choose from a host of front-end technologies and .NET Core is just one of them, with a set of tools available to you right out of the box. In a previous video, we demonstrated configuring a blank .NET Core application to work with Sitefinity. This one goes all the way around to setting things up on the Sitefinity side. There aren't too many configurations required in Sitefinity and we'll cover each step. To begin, head to Sitefinity and go to Settings, Advanced, and select Authentication. Under Security Token Service, Identity Server, Clients, Sitefinity, Redirect URIs, we need to enter the redirect URI for the .NET Core application. This is a required step because the .NET Core application is external to Sitefinity and we need to allow it to authenticate. What we need to do is register the appropriate URL. It has the HTTPS scheme, the default port, which for .NET Core is 5001 under HTTPS, and we add a slash sign in OIDC at the end. This is the callback path for authenticating with Identity Server. Once we have this configured, we can proceed with the next step, which is to go to Administration, Web Services. Here we need to configure the service that the .NET Core application will be communicating with. The default service, as you can see in the app settings, is API Default. That's what we're going to use. The important thing to do here is make this service available to everyone. Essentially, we're giving the .NET Core application anonymous read access. However, to restrict this service from other users and applications, we recommend adding an API key. This API key, too, needs to be specified in the app settings, so it's automatically passed in every service to call the OData service. So, let's see our application in action. I'll use a page I've already created. I'll just do a quick hello world. As you can see, everything is working properly with my local Sitefinity instance. We also have a demo using a remote Sitefinity instance hosted in Azure. 